Now, listen to me. And I'm not going to repeat myself. If you are sure that you did not poison this food, then eat it. Are you not my cook? Yes, my king. Good. I trusted you with my life and the life of my families. So eat the food. You don't want to obey the king, isn't it? You don't want to eat the food. In Kendalim, eat this food. You don't want to. Guards, carry this food, force it. That means no, 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 no. Force it into her mouth. No, mother. Now. No, no, stop it. Stop it. Mother, please. Why are you saving her? I'm not trying to save her. Listen, Nkem. You've been the one taking care of us all these years. Please, I don't want you to die for nothing. At least tell us the truth so that you don't die for nothing. I don't want to believe you actually poisoned this food. Ha, my princess, do I more? I see him, you go lie, you go lie. I see when you put that man. I see when you poison and the poison. You know, get hard. You won't poison your king. You have to do for this food. Fat, you know, get hard. Oh, Belle. You can't beat him. Ha, no, don't beat her. Just leave that. I trusted you so much with every fiber in my flesh. I did. Mm. Right. And I made you to be in charge of my feeding and that of my family. Why? My king, I'm not an evil person. So who made you do it? I just want to know why you did what you did. Why? Talk! Talk now, I will not hear listening to you. Talk! Why did you do that? I did it because this man here is a wicked man. What? Yes, I did it. I poisoned the food. What? I did it. Why? What did my father do to you that you wish him dead? Start speaking. I mean, start speaking. You can't do him. How could you? How could you? Now speak! I am so disappointed in you! Honestly, don't be disappointed in me, my princess. If you were in my shoes, you would have done worse. Shut up! And if there is anyone here who you should be disappointed in, it's your, this wicked man here. Shut up! Shut up! How dare you! Do you still remember that I'm the king of this kingdom? Who are you? Talk! I'm that little girl. That little girl you have a father thrown into the prison. I grew up without a father. And my mother told me you allowed my father die in prison. And I've waited patiently for this day to avenge my father's death. What? What? Who is your mother? Ubondo is my mother. What? Oh my God. Ubondo is your mother? Yes, my queen. But you told me you're an orphan. Yes, I did. You lied to us. Now I remember Isaac Akwarando. I'm sure your mother would not tell you the truth. How your father murdered his parents. Who would have been your grandparents today? She will not tell you the truth. No, my king. My father did not murder anyone. Shut up. Were you there when the incident took place? Did he? Mm -mm. Answer. Can you imagine yourself? Can you imagine how you have brought such hatred for an innocent man like me? Your father about what happened to him. Simple. I know your mother cannot wait to feed you with the truth of how she feels now. That is if she's still alive. She's still alive, my king. Hi. That makes it easier. And that will be my only reason for allowing you now. 
so that you will go seek the truth. After which, I will release the full dose, full dose of punishment to you because you want me dead, the king of this kingdom. I will release the full dose of punishment to you. Guards, I don't want to behold her face again. Take her away! You can't be disappointed. You get out of my sight! Taking in this one. Hmm? 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 Yes. As partaker of life or what? I'm partaking of this one. How I go? Just don't involve yourself here. This is for me alone. If you want your own food, you cook it yourself. For you alone? <laughs> Come on, sis. Remember, I am your younger sister. Which is the reason you should be the one cooking for everybody as the baby of the house, not the other way around, okay? Come on, sis. But I can't start spending all my life in the kitchen while others are desolating. Really? Yes. <laughs> Girlfriend, you must be on a dream island. So you better get ready because it's happening right before our faces, okay? Get ready. I can't. <laughs> You have to take the place of the cook, pending when we get a professional cook. The last born. Hey, God, though, I didn't choose to be the last born of the house to suffer. Anyways, I am going right away to talk to Father about this. I am sure he will listen to me. You better do because he listens to you as the last born of the house, okay? But I'm still going to eat this. Hmm? Hmm? I'm still going to eat this. Please, can you leave? You're distracting me. Are you home? Okay. Don't worry. I'll call you. I will wish a little for you. Little. What kept you in the kitchen for so long? Really? My friend, calm down and serve us food. Father, please. You have to get a cook as soon as possible. I can't be doing this all the time. For goodness sake, I am a princess. Princess indeed, my younger sister. You are. But don't forget, you are the baby of the house. And in the absence of the cook, you step in to do all the chores and also cook our food. So don't complain. <laughs> what is that one? about showcasing yourself while she's in the kitchen. Mom does our work. What is your routine? Uh, uh, oh, it's okay. Ure. Ure, baby. Yeah, it's okay, huh? I appreciate your effort for making sure there is food on our table. Hmm? Just serve the food. I'm making strong contacts to getting a new cook. Mm -hmm. And the new cook will arrive very soon. <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 I do not think that's a wise decision, you know? That you want to get another cook so soon after the shock the previous one gave to us. It doesn't make sense. Why do you want to get another cook when Renda is here? For you? Yes, mother. Look at you, you princesses. Look at the way you're shaking yourselves. This is a palace. A cook is paramount. That is why we're all making arrangement to get one. So that the person takes over the cooking. When we have peace in this house. Mother, big cook, I don't care where they're bringing the cook from. My own is you people should investigate him properly. I don't know what happened previously to repeat itself again. I cannot take it. Me, I'm even scared. Exactly my point. Because I'm really scared. Even this food, I don't even know. Like, I'm really scared. I don't I don't know I don't know who to trust again. As a food that you should be cooking. Me? Yes. When she's there. What's the work of Urena? Then you're scared of eating her food. It's okay. Please finish the food for it's everybody it's to it's eat. It's okay. You want a cook? I'm going to make one available as soon as possible. Why and can't she? Why can't you render continue the cooking? You too, continue with the cooking. Eh? Yes. The next time you try to speak to me in that manner again, you wouldn't like the end. Can you speak to 
quiet. No, mother, let this be the last time. You better warn her. Why would I warn her? No, you warn her. You are the eldest. You should be the one cooking the food. You will be talking to me anyhow. If I say one thing, you will be so angry. It's okay. okay. And I, I don't I know what I will kill you immediately. Please, stop us. So. You are not talking. You talk back at me like it that. Is. Your Highness, his name is Benji from Amago village. He is the new cook I found. What? Oh no! This! I was expecting a female and not this one. I changed my mind. Okay. I was the one that instructed that he should uh, get me a male cook since the female ones have failed me. Yes, it was on my instruction to get a young and a vibrant young man that cooks well. Oh no. My queen. Are you sure this one here can cook? Perfectly well, my queen. Ilinugu. Yes, my queen. Biana, na, can you cook? Sorry. As a matter of fact, this is exactly the picture of the kind of man I have in mind. Yes. Uzumbu. Uh, young man, what is your name? What is your name? Your name? The king is asking me. Okay. My name is Benjamin, the son of late chief Nleka from Amago village. Congratulations. Hmm? Already. Well, uh, mm. Congratulations to yourself. Your Highness. For being a cook. <laughs> ha! Oh, no. Oh. Your Highness, yes. um, please, I'm sorry. I supposed to let you know that he can barely hear unless mm. you speak up a little. Huh? Oh, no. Wow. No, no, no. Your, your, your Highness, not like that. But my assurance that he can cook to your satisfaction. He cooks well. Fat to your satisfaction, your highness. Well, uh, young man, you're welcome to my palace. So, excuse me, sir. Uh, you're welcome. Lady, my son, you know I love you so much. Hmm? As I told you earlier, your father and I were very, very good friends before he joined our ancestors. Now, I brought you in this palace so that you can be somebody. Yeah? The king is not just a brother, but a friend to me. Mm? So I don't want you to disappoint me. Mm? Hello. My son. I appreciate this. This is a golden opportunity. I will not disappoint you. I, I, I will not disappoint you. I love that. Okay. So. Uh, you have access to the to your work, yeah? So try to do your work in sincerity. Sorry. Yeah? Try to do your work in sincerity. Yeah? I want to have you make a good break. Uh, oh no. Your Highness. You really have to get me a new cook, since this one barely hears. Your Highness, apart from his hard hearing, I can beat my chest that you will still enjoy his cooking. I know, I know, I know. But there's a problem here. Hmm? I can't imagine myself working with onion tea. Automatically it means each time I want to pass a message to him, I have to shout. I don't need to shout. Huh? I understand you, my king. All right, meanwhile, he, he can stay here while you look for a new person. Okay? Okay, my king. Is it, um, thanks, Odessa. Thank you, my king. I appreciate it.
Are you sure you are here to cook? Excuse me. I said, are you sure you are here to cook? Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to your grandfather. Are you here to cook? Wait. I know you are here on a mission. And I will tell you what to be careful about you. How old are you? It's like you're mad. So you don't know your mate. I you know your mate to a senior you. You don't know your elders. Don't try it next time. See, 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 that I don't beat kids. I will make your type. Are you listening to me? Who are you? Learn how to mind your business, else I will, I will kick you like football. You cannot kick me like football because I came in this place before you. You do hear me? You cannot do it. Are you your son? Huh? Where you go, Zebe? The new cook is here. What do you mean? The cook, he's in the kitchen. Go see for yourself. Cook? The cook. Well, let's go and see for ourselves. Really? Yes. Yeah. Your Majesty. You should have told me when you changed your mind about bringing in a female cook. I'm very sorry, my love. It's just that I can't withstand to fall into the trap of another vicious and emotional lady again. I can't withstand it. Yes. My love, a male cook is a no-no for me. This one you brought already. He has to leave immediately. It's, it's okay. That won't be a problem. I've already discussed with uh, Uno to get us another cook. But for now, this one stays. Please, until we get another. If he has to stay, pending when Uno will bring another cook for us, we'll have to immediately run a background check on him. As to know who we are living with, you cannot bring in a complete stranger and impose him on us. What is that? Consider it done, Your Majesty. <laughs> okay, as for the errand boy. Yes. We have to consider sending him back to school immediately. Keeping him here is to just run errand for us, report events to us, gossip to us. It does not make any sense. That will be tantamount to child abuse. He's just a little boy. Let's send him back to school. You know he does not have parents. Let us assume that responsibility in his life completely. Let us be his parents. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm very, very fine. Is that right? Uh, tell your son to visit me in my palace. Yes. I've not seen him for a while now. Extend my greetings to your family, your wife. Bye. Iwe. What is it? Iwe, Iwe. What is it? Iwe. I'm here to leak a secret for you. I mean, a top secret against this palace. What is the secret all about? If anybody that brought that Benji, the new cook, does not mean well for this royal family, it will, that, that boy is on a mission in this palace. 
Are you out of your mind? You are not out of my mind. I'm with my senses. You are not what I'm saying. Remember that brother being here does not mean good for this royal family. Now get out of my sight. Hmm? Get out of my sight. Hey, you will consider. Oh. Are you still standing there? Sorry. Squeeze you. Hide what? See what? What do you mean? Bring them out. I don't see them. No need to hide them. Bring what out? What do you mean? I go catch you. No say there's smell for this palace. Bring them out, Joe. Ha ha. Obele. <laughs> that we do it. Can bring them out. I make I tell you what I see. Obele, you, you know you're my ally. Eh? Yeah? Please don't tell anybody. I promise to be protecting this palace. No, okay? no, See, look at my guy. I don't need your protection. I can protect myself. And I can even protect you. So I don't need your protection. The only problem I have in this palace is that new cook, Benji. I want you to keep your eyes on him. Benji, that new cook? He's here on a mission. <laughs> don't worry. I'm going to even strangle him if he tries anything. I don't say make you strangle anybody. I say make you keep your eyes on him and leave the rest for me. You hear him? Don't worry. I'm going to keep my eyes on him. OK, no problem. <laughs> Bring him out first. <laughs> Obele, forget this one. No. This is not for children like you. Bring that to you and show me what color. Why you can't insult me now? You know how old I am? I can burn your father's self. Come and bring that thing out. Opele, forget this one. I go it's cast not... you. I go cast you. Opele. Give me. Give me. Give me that. I'm serious. Sweet, you this move. I think they melt your heart. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
confess, confess me, Kat. So I'm really too boring. I need a call out. What do you want? Since come on, Gado. You know, I said I meet with the palace messenger for you. At the actual question, you don't de lose guard. She'll be one collect. You mean the palace errand boy? You de, you go call her into a worker. Eh, hey, that guy will there for kitchen. Who will be and who will bring her come? I mean, the other question. No, now I start you at the act. I don't want you to go to answer me. Come, you little boy. You know where he is. Mm. When you see him, you can ask him that, okay? Hey, let me, me talk. Why they actually don't you don't lose that like 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 show it now now you be the chief guard. Phone guard, guard, phone guard. I mean she's <laughs> Come hey, here. Hey. I said, come here. Is it that he didn't hear me? Is it that you he didn't hear what, when I said you should come here? He's talking to you. I'm talking to you. It's okay. Who are you? Hold it, girls. Listen to me. I think it's my fault. Um, his name is Benjamin. He's our new cook. He's crying. Although I'm making arrangements for a replacement for now. He is our cook, okay? Is that why he didn't want to answer the question? My friend, answer the question! She asked, who are you? Oh. Undertake Dummy, no. excuse me. Please, please, oh. you girls should forgive him. He has a problem of the ears. Huh? He what? can hardly hear. What? He has impaired hearing. Oh. Mommy, you, you guys brought in a deaf person here. He is not deaf. He has impaired hearing. Hearing. That means he can hear, but when you want to talk to him, raise your voice a little. But mother, is, is that why he can't answer a simple question? Because he didn't hear you. Please, he said you should tell them your name. Tell them your name. Oh. Yes. My name is, greetings your majesties. My name is Benjamin, the only surviving son of Lady J. Leka of Amago Kendo. Congratulations. Uh -uh. Why are you coming? Oh, Please just go. Go! <laughs> I don't know why you're congratulating us. Are we Please, you have to forgive him for now. Hmm? Like I said, I'm making plans for replacement. Just that he's a wonderful cook. Daddy, that guy is a joker. Why are you keep quiet? Somebody well, you should have show you should a have deaf and dumb cook. Test the food first. But well, you shouldn't have gone for a deaf. I don't want to get deaf. He's, he's only deaf. He's not dumb. Yeah. I don't want to die. He, he looks because he can. Be careful. Oh my God. 
He's good looking and one can literally mistaken him for a perfect gentleman. Not knowing he's such a big bloody clown. There is nothing good about him. Stark illiterate. That is who he is. I don't know where mom and dad brought that guy from. Eh? Did you see the way he speaks? Um, God bless you or what? <laughs> oh, come on girls. Eh? My you God. people should not kill this guy. He's still a human being, and I must confess, his food is fantastic. Yeah, you're right. His food is good, that I even forgot he's the one that prepared it. Please. Despite the fact that I slapped him, mm. I think that guy is annoying, but he's good. his food is good. There is nothing fantastic about his food. Yes, we've had better food than that. Yes, that's the truth. Eh? Please, people should stop giving him all that credit. He doesn't deserve it. That is ugly monkey looking face. Mkosika, please stop. Cheers now. <laughs> I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Honestly, eh, that boy can cook. My love. Honestly, I am telling you. I am amazed how a man, a young man like that, can cook that good. Honestly, Oluwu was right. He was right when he told me not to conclude that I should test the boy's food first. He was completely correct. Do you know he even cooks better than our former cook? That witch of a girl. Ah, that wicked no, girl. No, 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 no. That's too vulgar. Ah! You're too vulgar for her. What do you want me to call her? She's not a witch. Just that she was misled. Whatever. Huh? Anybody can do fine. Just like this boy now, he's very excellent. So she too can be good. Don't call her a witch next time, okay? This one, you're trying to promote him. Hmm. Paint him as like the best. Are you suggesting we keep him? Are you suggesting otherwise? Don't pretend, just say the truth. Hey, my brother, have you had the old? Have you had, have you had the bad thing? Let us balance cuckoo. His name is Benji. Benji, Benji the cuckoo die. He's calling there for kitchen and bottle. Hey, my brother, have you had the old? Have you had, have you had the bad thing? Let us balance cuckoo. His name is Benji. Benji, Benji the cuckoo dying. Yeah. He's calling there for kitchen and pot. I cannot sleep if I do not test Benji's. Soup again, that boy. <clears throat> I can't wait till morning. No way, no way. If you chop his foot, if if Benji Hey, 
my brother, have you had the old? Have you had, have you had the bad the latest ballast cook? I don't know which of you is telling the truth. See, my queen, you know me too well for this palace. And I'll be messing with that. I know, I know the girl problem with anybody. I, I, the, the one will happen now here, they talk. I don't they like. This brother entered my room last night. I thought I made you come up for me to say now only me get this room. But I don't even agree with me. He said instead of him to come up for my room, he tied me pull for wardrobe. He could. Me. Your Majesty, if I touch this baby boy, it's child abuse. I did not touch him. I cannot touch him. What will I gain if I touch him? I swear. Magachumi, he is lying. This is side abuse now. Why would I touch him? It's okay, it's okay. Let me handle it. Oh, yeah, it's painful because where he did not no, do anything. No, no, don't cry. It doesn't come to that. Oh, this brother, they cry. Oh, this brother, they, 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 they lie. They, they lie, they cry on top. Please shut up. Shut up! Let him go. I believe it's adolescent stage. Who is adolescent? When he grows up, he will. Eh? This one will grow. If you touch him, the child abuse, then we arrest him first. Thank you. You should have had a little respect for yourself. What kind of respect do you expect? What kind of respect do I need for what I want? No matter how you want to see it, that boy cooks nice and his food is fine. What do you think? Is that why you should shower that level of praises on him? Right before me. He's a commoner for crying out loud. I know. No doubt about that. He's a commoner. But that doesn't stop his food from being nice. If you care, he seems to be having issues with Obele. It's high time we returned that boy to school. I am dead serious about it this time around. That boy, that little boy does not have one atom of respect or regard in him. What do you expect of a boy raised in the street? Return him to school immediately. Excuse me. His name is Benji. Benji. Benji the cook die. He's calling them for kitchen and pot. took you so long because I've been waiting. I'm sorry, my princess. Sorry for yourself. Open the plate. Let me see the rubbish you prepared. Wait. 
How many eggs did you use in making these noodles? Two eggs. You must be out of your mind. No, you must be mad! Mad? Are you mad? You can't hear or what? Why would you use two eggs to make my noodles? No, I look like I came from some poverty-infested background or something? Listen to me, I eat four eggs. What did I say? Four eggs. Rubbish. I'm sorry. Come back here. Let me even test the nonsense you cooked. Noodles. No, why did you use all the salt in the world on these noodles? No, I, I did not use any salt on it. I just added the seasoning I saw inside the You donut. must be mad for that answer. No, you must be out of your mind. Aren't you supposed to be a professional cook? I'm sorry. Are you not supposed to be a professional cook? No, leave my side. Just go. You're supposed to be a, pro a, a, a professional cook. What happened? I'm sorry. Man. No, no, just, just go, just go. Just go, just go. I should stop clapping for your queer. Is that what you mean? Let me have it. Come back here. Why is this juice not cold? Is there no ice in this house? I don't understand. That. What don't you understand? Is there not a refrigerator in this palace? There is a fridge in the palace. Then you must be stupid. You must be very stupid to serve me a hot juice. How, how dare you? Go and get me proper juice immediately. Thank you, my princess. Please, I'm so, so sorry, my princess. Can you imagine? Who brought this boy to this? Who brought this boy to this place? What kind of human being is this? Serving me a hot juice? Not your fault. Your your sister's on this. What's her name? Princess Ify. I asked you to wash my clothes, and you had the gods, the impetuous, to leave my clothes for another. How dare you? No, no, your princess. I've washed all the clothes you brought, except the ones you brought. It's the gods for me. Will you shut up your mouth? How dare you? You idiot! 
Are you stupid? This should sound as a warning to you. Next time I, in Goseka, ask you to do something, make sure to do it. Did you hear me? I know your death. Now, did you hear me? It's your tomorrow, stupid thing. I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself! Sorry for your stupid self! Low life, low class, it's yours! Try me. I gave you two minutes. Just two minutes. Okay, let me just make it five. If you don't finish washing all these clothes and I get back here, I will use this to skin your life. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have given him your own days to wash. What happened to you doing that one yourself? Mother, there is nothing wrong with him washing my clothes. His primary duty in this palace is to cook for the royal house. And that was why he was brought. Don't forget that. Wait, wait mom. Are you trying to say that his only duties in this house is just to cook? Then who will do the remaining house chores? No! He will have to do everything, including washing my clothes. Ah, I don't see anything wrong with that. Ngozeka, we're not talking about washing clothes here. We're talking about you asking him to wash your undies. That one is supposed to be private. Something you wear inside of your body. You give a man to wash? Come on. Mother, I don't see anything wrong in him washing my undies. There is nothing special. Anybody can wash my undies. I will even give my husband my undies to wash. Even when I'm, I'm on my period. I will do that. Yes, so, ha. Hmm. I won't give you, your father my own to wash. Mine is dignified. Mother, old school. That's old in this style. Now, we're in the 90s. Everything has changed. Yes, so, so he will wash it. Just take it easy with this boy. You know his problem. With his impaired hearing and him not understanding what you're saying at every point in time. Leave him alone. He's trying to acclimatize to the way things are done in this palace. Are you coming to muzzle him around? That will complicate his life the more. Take it easy. Be patient with him. Please, I beg you. I beg you, Mom. Eh? But there's nothing wrong in him doing any of those things. But as you said, I've heard you. I will think about it. Benjamin. My name is Yulena. I am the last child of my parents. I must confess, you are a wonderful cook. You are a very good cook. You are not saying anything to me. Don't you think it's high time you said thank you? Hmm? Oh, I forgot. Sorry. I said you're a wonderful cook. Oh, thank you, my Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. No, Urena. My name is Urena. Congratulations. Congratulations? <laughs> I, I notice you have an unusual way of talking. Don't worry. Hmm? I will help you improve in that, okay? Thank you, Your Majesty. Sorry. Uvenna. Yes, Uvenna. I was bored inside. I came to help you wash Excuse some. Me? I, I was bored inside. Yes, I came to help you wash dishes, then learn one or two from you. Excuse me, I was bored inside. I came to help you wash some dishes, then 
Learn one or two from you. You know you're a wonderful cook. Wife material. <laughs> one thousand words. All right, Your Majesty. Sorry, Irena. I will be preparing banga soup this afternoon. Okay. Rice and banga stew. So while doing that, I will call you so that you can learn one or two. Wonderful. Fantastic. Okay, let me help you wash the dishes then while you do other things. Okay? Wife material. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> His name is Benji. Benji the cook He's calling the for kitchen. Oh, 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 oh. So this is where you are. Eh? Now listen. I'm done cooking in the kitchen. So go in there and clear all the mess. Did you hear me? Excuse me, ma. I said go in there and clear all the mess. Death monkey. Okay. I don't want to repeat myself. Right, Your Majesty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the 11th time you are eating today. It's today your birthday. Come on, give me food. Yeah, I'm hungry, Biko. I, I'm tired of feeding you. Best you come and give me food now. There is no food. Is it your birthday? Let me say it two times. Wow, what Go in, Biko. 11th. This is the 11th one. I have a book in that form. Best you come and give me food. Give me that, ma'am. Come and give me food, Patrick. 